When it comes to cleansing crystals, there are several methods you can use. I've included three of the most popular with this course. So one way to cleanse your crystals is to use sound. I've got various different instruments here. So we've got the singing bowl that you can use, the Tibetan bells, and this is a tuning fork. So this is my crystal here. So if I wanted to cleanse it with sound, I could leave the crystal where it is and hover the instrument over the top, allowing the frequency of the sound to do all the work. Same with the tuning fork. And that will cleanse the crystal. And you can cleanse multiple crystals at once as well with these methods. Or you can use the singing bowl. Now you can use this in the same way by holding it over the top of the crystal. But what I like to do is pop the crystal, or crystals if you want to put more than one, inside the bowl. And just let the sound do its thing. Another way to cleanse crystals is with the moonlight. So if you have a windowsill, you can pop your crystals on ideally under the light of a full moon, then they'll get a charge and a cleanse. So the moonlight will cleanse them and clear them of energy, but it'll also charge them up. Uh, if they're safe outside, if you've got a garden, you might want to put them out there, but otherwise the windowsill is absolutely fine. Some of my crystals actually live on the windowsill, so they're constantly being cleansed and charged by the moonlight. And my crystals get a bit of a double whammy because I use this. This is a selenite um, bowl. Selenite is also a crystal, very high vibrational energy, and selenite can cleanse and clear other crystals. So I very often put my crystals inside the selenite bowl and then I'll leave them on the windowsill as well. So they will benefit from the moon, but they'll also benefit from the selenite bowl. Another way to cleanse a crystal is to run it under the tap and cleanse it that way with the water. But before you use water with any crystal, just go onto the internet, just do a quick Google and check that the particular type of crystal you want to use is safe to be used with water. So this is black moonstone. And a quick Google search told me that this is fine to be used under running water. Some crystals are very porous and very soft and they're not to be used at all with water. They're not to be um, immersed in water. Some of them are much harder and they're perfectly safe. So before you use any crystal with water, just do a quick check online to make sure it's safe to be used in that way. There are many different ways that you can set an intention when working with a crystal. This is also called programming. But one of the simplest methods is to hold the crystal in your hand and state your intention out loud. So it might be that you want the intention to be, I set this crystal with the intention to keep me safe while I'm driving and then place the crystal in your car. Or I set this crystal with the intention to help me with creativity and keep it close by when you're working. You can also, if you wish, hold the crystal up in front of your heart chakra when setting your intention. 